Hello everyone, I'll read a story for you. Listen carefully. The title is Frozen. Let's begin the story. The, the kingdom of Arendelle was a happy place. It sat next to a beautiful lake surrounded by grand mountains. The king and queen were kind and they loved their daughters, Ersa and Anna. Ersa, the older daughter, had a secret. She could magically make snow and ice. One night, Ersa created a winter wonderland with ice, lake, ice lights for her little sister, Anna. They had a lot of fun. But Anna was hit with Ersa's magic by mistake. Anna became icy cold. The king and queen rushed, look, what, rushed the girls to the trolls, who knew about magic and heal Anna. The next day, Anna went, wanted to play with Ersa. Do you want to build a snowman? She asked. Ersa answered. Go away, Anna. She was afraid Anna would get hurt again. She tried her best to stay away from Anna. Years later, the king and queen were lost at sea. Ersa became queen when she came of age. On the day of Ersa's coronation, Coronation, Anna met a prince named Hans. Anna and Hans wanted to marry. Elsa wouldn't allow it. As Elsa turned to leave the room, Anna grabbed Elsa's hand and started to argue. Enough, Elsa cried. Everyone was shocked. The new queen had blasted ice all over the floor. Frightened, Elsa fled the castle and ran up into the mountains. Everything she touched turned into ice. Arendelle was covered with snow and ice, and ice was spreading everywhere. High up on the mountain, Elsa let her powers loose. With no one around to hurt, she could be herself for the first time in her life. She freely used her magic to build herself a shiny palace made of ice. Anna went after Elsa and left Hans in charge of the kingdom. She needed her sister to stop the midsummer storm. Along the way, Anna met an ice harvester, Kristoff, who agreed to guide her up the mountains. Near the top of the mountain, Anna and Kristoff met a talking snowman. I'm Olaf, said the snowman. He explained that Elsa had made him. Olaf happily agreed to help Anna and Kristoff find Elsa. Back in Arendelle, the people were worried about Anna. So Hans and a group of men went out to look for her. Anna finally found the ice palace and her sister. But Elsa wasn't happy to see Anna. She was afraid of hurting Anna or or anyone else in the kingdom. And they'll need you, said Anna, as she explained about the freezing kingdom. But I don't know how to unfreeze the kingdom, Elsa replied. When Anna kept trying to get Elsa to come back, Elsa became frustrated accidentally hitting Anna in the chest with a blast of ice. Anna, Elsa hadn't mean to hurt Anna, but now she was afraid things would get worse. 
So S. So Elsa created a gigantic snowman to make sure that Anna and her friends would leave. They all got away safely, but something was wrong with Anna. Her hair was turning white. We have to go see my friends, Kristoff said. They will be able to fix this. It was night. When they entered the land of the trolls, the trolls came out from hiding when they saw their friend Kristoff. An old troll, an old troll, told Anna that ice in her heart would continue to spread throughout her body and freeze her solid within a day. He added. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Meanwhile, Hans and his men arrived at Elsa's place. Elsa tried to protect herself from them, but during the fight, she was hit by falling ice and was knocked out. Hans and his men brought Elsa back to the castle. And locked her up in the dungeon. She looked outside, and was shocked at how much damage her magic had caused. Kristoff was bringing Anna back to Arendelle, and Arendelle, and began to realize she had feelings for Anna, but she knew. Anna was in danger and needed her true love, Hans. At the castle, Anna shivered in cold as she explained her condition to Hans. Only an act of true love can save me, she said. Oh, Anna, Hans said with an evil look. If only there was someone out there who loved you. He told her that he just wanted the kingdom for himself, and nothing more. No, gasped, gasped Anna. In the dungeon, Elsa, Elsa, fears. Elsa's fears about. Hurting Arendelle had grown greatly. She became so upset that she froze the whole dungeon and escaped. Elsa was already gone when Hans came to the cell. Olaf knew that Kristoff truly lo loved Anna, then, and that his kiss could save her. So he helped Anna outside towards Kristoff, but then they saw something horrible. Hans was about to struck Elsa with his sword. With her remaining strength, Anna threw herself in front of Elsa. Elsa, Anna's body froze to solid just as Hans brought his sword. With a loud clang, the sword shattered. Elsa realized what had happened, and firmly hugged Anna. Oh, Anna! She sobbed. Suddenly, Anna began to thaw. An act of true love would thaw a frozen heart. Olaf said. Anna. Anna's act of true love helped Elsa see that love was greater than fear. As Elsa's fear faded away, so did the midsummer storm. Summer was returning. Olaf, who started to melt from the heat, got a little winter cloak from Elsa. Kristoff got a big kiss from Anna. Anna. And the sisters were best friends at last. Arendelle was a happy place once again. 
Hope you enjoyed the story. Next time, I will draw more fun and exciting story. Then see you next time.